Hey, Shalom, 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 just for Israel to be equal, right? So I'm just going to jump straight into the scriptures. It says Hebrews 8 and 6, all right, speaking on the second covenant. All right, so, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he's the mediator of a better covenant, right, which was established upon better promises. All right, for if the first covenant had been faultless, they should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, finding fault with the Israelites, Right, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, when I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the ha and with the house of, of, of Judah. Right, so basically the um, house of Judah representing the southern kingdom, house of Israel representing the northern kingdom, i.e. the you know the, the, the so called Latin tribes, right, with the southern kingdom being, you know, Judah, Benjamin and Levi. Right, so not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord, right? And you know when you read uh, uh, Romans six, Romans seven, right? Uh, Paul speaks about how these these bodies, you know, these vile bodies, in them is sin, in them dwelleth sin, which is why we're not able to uh, obtain the promises that were basically promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because the Lord is not a man that he should lie, right? You know, but these vile bodies mean that we, you know, we can't, you know, we will sin, right? That That is, a, what do you call it? That is an inevitability, right? Um, in fact, I just read it now, you know. Um, uh, what was that? Sin liar? It says First John 1 and 10, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. All right, not the one that I wanted, but um, yeah, this is what actually is verse 8. It says, uh, First John 1 and 8, it says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. All right, so we say we're, we're sinless, we're liars, man. All right, and for as long as we are in these bodies, that's just the way it's going to be. So, yeah, through Yahweh Shai. Right, he is the mediator of this new covenant that allows us to, you know, uh, get the blessings right written in at Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. In fact, well, I'll go there afterwards. Um, I'll just finish this. This is Hebrews eight and ten. So this is the covenant that I'll make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I'll put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I'll be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Right, um, it says, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. In that he saith, The new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Right, so in this, in uh, would you call it by being able to uh, be sinless? Right, we will be able to do things like live forever. Scripture is saying, and I'll get it. Uh, uh, which uh, the wages of sin is death. Right, so if we can't sin in the kingdom, that means we go on. Uh, what do you call it? We we go and be able to live forever. Now, that's not promised to any other group of people. Right, you mean you read it there in verse ten, which is highlighted. It says, "For this is the covenant that will make the house of Israel." Right. So this 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 and this ain't no you know people oh but spiritual as well but apostle Paul which uh, earlier on today made the point yeah spiritual Israel is still physical Israel the same thing right Israel is a people before it's a place right um so so yeah so yeah you know just from that point if we can live forever and the other heathens can't then that makes us better right so Deuteronomy twenty eight to start from the top and never usually start from the top you know no hey because normally you know right now we're living through the curses but hey what's to come right the blessings right you know in fact i'll read i'll read one through 15 i'll just you know i'll, uh, I'll read it quick right it says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of yahweh thy power to observe and to do his commandments which i command thee this day that yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth 
right? So once again, we just read that we're going to be sinless, right? And, and, and you know, in the kingdom, that's, that's the new covenant, right? Which basically means that this can finally be fulfilled in its, you know, in its entirety, right? So and all these blessings shall come uh, on thee and take thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Right, so everything that we, you know, we have is going to be blessed. Right, you know, you ain't going to be having to worry. Right, in this kingdom, it's all about what you worry. <laughs> you know, everything's a worry in this kingdom. Right, it says, blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Yahweh shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. And right now, our enemies have overthrown us, man. Right? That's why you read um, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. It says, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Right? We're those princes. You know, it's, that's our last name. Yasha Allah, he prints power. Right? He's the son of God. Right? We're in a, we're in a very low estate, man. Right, you read Psalms eighty third chapter as well. Well said, um, you know, for lo, thine enemies make a tunnel, right? So all the and basically they have uh, come together with one consent, right? So all these heathen nations have come together to overtake us, to take us down, right? And, and hey, no, no, no one was there for us, right? Why? Because we were given into their hand for our own iniquity, right? Whereas in the kingdom. Right, you know when these when these are blessings are fulfilled, right? Uh, are we, uh, you know, our enemies won't be able to take us out. That you know to 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 deal treacherously treacherously with the, right? More so, we gonna know their thoughts. We gonna be like, hey, these guys are trying to try a coup, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which will you'd be a madman to try that in the kingdom, man. Right, these heathens. It says, They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Yahweh shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee. Yahweh shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called the name of Yahweh, and they shall be afraid of thee. Right, for instance, you can also read that in the, the which you call in the um, Isaiah the second chapter, right? Um, starting from the top, was basically speaking about how in that day people are gonna be coming up to the children of Israel, being like, oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, let's find out, you know, um, you know what 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 uh, uh, what the children of Israel have to say. Hey, right now, no one's coming to a so-called Hispanic, Native American. Uh, so called Negro, right? Uh, for for uh, for any type of information, right? Even if even if it's a quote unquote intelligent one of those, why? Because at the end of the day, that what's their what's their um uh, their idea of Jake that we just niggers, man, right? It says and Yahweh shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy ground. The land which Yahweh swear unto thy fathers to give thee. So, and this and this is why, you know, Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai was always there from the beginning. It was all part of the Lord's master plan, right? Because you know when the Lord uh, made His promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? He, he basically was saying, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this land. It's gonna be yours, right? But because of our own iniquity, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has not been able to fulfill that. Right, but that's why Yahweh Shah was always there from the beginning, right? To be that, uh, uh, you know, that that joining back, that mediator, right? Back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Um, it says Yahweh shall open up unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And hey, but what's Jake? Jake is always borrowing, man. Right, so Jake is always in debt. Right, so then Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, right, and shall be not be beneath. 
if thou if that thou hearken unto the commandments of Yahweh thy power which I command thee this day to observe them and to do them right? and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I commanded thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go to uh, after to go after other gods to serve them all right but it was always the Lord's plan for us to go off it was always the plan of Yahweh Shem Yahshai for for the children of Israel to go off right this is Romans 6 23 it says for way the for the wages of sin is death right but the gift of the most high is eternal life through who through Yahweh Shem Yahshai our Lord right so we obtain eternal life through Yahweh Shai right through his sacrifice through the fact that he went and died on the sin it's like saying through, through um the fact that he went and died on the cross for us man right so for us to just be like oh whatever you know we're good and happy being equal oh please accept us right look man you, you basically saying yahweh shah died for naught man right because yahweh shah died for a much greater cause right so that the children of israel can can obtain all of these beautiful uh, uh promises that have been promised to the children of israel Right, it says Galatians one and four reiterating a similar point. It says, "Who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from deliver us from this present evil world." Right, so we read that word "world" in the Greek G one six five aeon. Right, you know, an age, man. Right. Yeah, so it says. So we we'll read that again. You know, it says, "Who gave himself for our sin for our our sins." That he might deliver us from this present evil age, right? This is according to the will of the, uh, you know, of the Most High and our Father, right? Which allows us to quickly, uh, you know, and easily segue into this. The Second Ezra six and nine for East was the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? So we read that we read them two one after the other, right? This is Galatians one and four, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Right, Esau is the end of the world, so you know, deliver us from Esau's world according to the will of the Most High our Father, and deliver us unto uh, 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 the, the world of Jacob, right? That followeth, right? So that's why Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, 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 died, man, right? You know, for the forgiveness of sins and to join us up uh, uh, back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right, so that we can receive the promises, right? Um, but Jake just want to be equal, man. It's a damn shame because Jake don't even know that they're superior. Jake don't even know that they're better, right? Um, all right, so I just got um, you know, some precepts, right? Um, so it says God only loves Israel, but I'll pick some out. It says Deuteronomy seven and six says, "For thou art unholy people unto the Lord at uh, thy power." Uh, um, Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth um, Psalms 105, that's how I'm just picking them at random Psalms 105 and 6, O ye seed of Abraham, his servants, ye children of ja Jacob, his chosen right? You know, uh, you know Ab Abraham, you know, I was talking about Abraham, Isaac and, you know, Jacob Right, it's Jacob is chosen, Jacob is also known as Israel Right, Psalms 148, 14, it says he also he also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Right, so it's proven to you when the scriptures talk about the saints, talking about the children of Israel, even of the children of Eve, of Israel, a people near unto him. Um, Isaiah 14 and 1, it says, Yahweh, uh, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be drawn unto them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right, if I remember, quote those strange. That's referring to um, you know, Israelite. Uh, uh, yeah, meaning Israelite foreigner, right? Can you read there in the breakdown, right? Um, oh, got to read this is Isaiah forty and fifteen. Says, "Behold, the nations." Right, talking about the other heathen nations outside of the children of Israel. The nations are as a drop of a bucket, and the counters as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the hours as a very little thing. Right, um, what do you call it? Sarah 33 and 10. All, all men uh, are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth, right? In much knowledge, the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some, and, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. 
but some of them had he cursed and brought low and turned out of their uh, places, right? So those that were blessed with the children of Israel, man, right? It says, uh, oh, I've got to read Psalm, 2 Ezra 6, 54, right? It says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. People are like, oh, have you all come from Adam? Yeah, we do. But, you know, there's, then there's the people whom the Lord has actually chosen, right? Um, Luke 1, 68, blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people, right? Um, so, yeah, as always, you know, Lord, Lord's what I was edifying, man. You know, you Jakes, right? You, you know, you uh, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Right, and all our descendants, you know, because we we were, we won't shy away from that fact. You have our, you know, our people that look like all of these different heathen nations, hey, and in fact, you've got all of these different heathen nations that look like our people, <laughs> right? Um, you know, you get you get a, a quote unquote black Edomites, you know, dark skinned Edomites, man, right? That look just like Jake, but really they they got what they got the spirit of Esau in there, man, right? Um. Yeah, so um, you know, like I said, as always, Lord's what I was edifying. Um, you know, Israel man, wake up. You know, just, you know f just fuck off with all this, you know, quality shit. Which we know, which we know, you know, the wicked of our people aren't gonna wake up, man. And we know the wicked of our people aren't gonna wake up because their eyes have been closed. You can read that in Isaiah six, uh, nine, uh, six, uh, 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 verse nine through eleven. Right. Um, so as always, Lord's laws edify. I said that for the third time now. Um, but yeah, um, till next time, I'll say Shalom.